It's the first of its kind in New York City, a public drop box for used needles. Very interesting though. I think it's good uh, I think it's a good idea. The colorful daisy just around the corner from a children's playground certainly drew some curious onlookers. It's bolted, locked, and part of a pilot program aimed at cleaning up around public parks. We've been collecting syringes ever since we started. The Corner Project, a non-for-profit organization helping those suffering from substance abuse, is behind this new initiative. This particular location near the Haven Park underpass at 177th Street was carefully chosen for the pilot program. Near the George Washington Bridge, just above a zigzag of pathways leading to several paths beneath the bridge. This, they say, is one of the areas with the highest number of improperly disposed syringes. Since 2009, we've been accurately tracking um, the numbers that we pick up and the locations that we pick them up from. And then beginning in 2014, we actually started tracking more specifically with GPS. Underpasses like this one here in Washington Heights is precisely where Corner Project is focusing a lot of their work. In the short time we've been here, we've seen one, two, three, four syringes scattered around. And if you take a closer look, you can clearly see they've been used and they're not properly capped creating that safety risk so many are concerned about. It's an idea that gives walkers like Tony Pletcher some peace of mind, especially when he's with his dog, Roscoe. Makes sense, you know, give give them a place to put it, and that way if they are using, you know, needles or something, it's not ending up somewhere where it could hurt somebody else.